bees have well-ordered societies, enabling them to produce goods for the well-being of the hive. Pollinating plants, they generate products in harmony with nature. A real balance between the environment, economy and society. This is what we call sustainable development. Important for today's and future harvests and at risk of disappearing, bees have alerted us that the balance is harmed. To ensure quality of life for our own and future generations, we need to keep this balance. So, how is the EU doing on its way to keeping it? Eurostat helps to answer this question with its monitoring report on sustainable development in the EU. Here are some findings from the 2013 edition. Economic activity has recovered partly from the crisis, but the outlook remains uncertain. Overall, the growth was 11.2% between 2000 and 2012. The EU is close to its aim of having a 20% share of renewable energy. It seems we managed to use less resources in our economy, but it's not clear if this is a real efficiency gain or a short-lived effect of the crisis restrictions. Partly also due to the crisis, greenhouse gas emissions have dropped, placing Europe on track to have reduced emissions by 20% by 2020. However, we have been constantly overfishing. With the crisis, the number of people at risk of poverty and social exclusion rose to 124 million in 2012, including 25.5 million children. This takes the EU away from its aim to lift 20 million people out of poverty by 2020. On a positive note, the life expectancy of newborns has increased. Though longer lives mean also an ageing society, the good news is that the employment of older people keeps rising. It's complex but interesting, isn't it? We monitor this mixed picture for sustainable development in Europe with more than 100 indicators, including distance to targets of EU's growth strategy called Europe 2020. To give you a quick picture of this complexity, we use weather symbols. Our data is available for everyone to explore. I hope you will use these statistics for your everyday decisions and exercise of your democratic rights.